awesome. They're doing huge things, but did you know they're educating the next generation through cartoon? Here they are live. Give it up for Cobra Starship. What's up, Justin Timberlake? What's going on? <laughs> Hey, how you doing, Jesse? It's good to see you. Hey, it's great to see you, bro. Yes, it's been a while. Hey, guys, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Hey, Jesse. Hey, what's up? We what's were talking up? backstage that we think your new haircut looks like Justin Timberlake. A little bit. I think like, I need to add those, uh, the, the frosted blonde tips. You're going to do it, right? You guys want the it. frosted tips, yes. right? Like Justin Timberlake, what was that, like 98, maybe? Something like that. 98, yeah. I'll maybe. be JC Chavez, and then like I'll be really bummed that you had a huge career afterwards, and I didn't. That's okay, we'll though. He's friends. doing well. He's doing well, though, right? We'll still be friends. Yeah, we'll yeah. still be friends. Yeah. Not. But hey, it's been a while since you guys have been here, and the last time you were here, since then, you've pretty much traveled the entire world yeah. and also started educating the next generation through this cartoon of yours. It's a hit. Tell me about it. Well, actually, the cartoon was just the last episode, and it's just, I think, uh, you're talking about Cobra Cam in general, right? Yeah. 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 What actually happened was... Which is hilarious, by the way. Oh, thank which you. Which is hilarious. It's all... It's so funny. Hilarious and educational. Has anybody seen Cobra Cam? <laughs> yeah? Okay. That's what I thought. So they, they know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So tell me about it, though. What's the... I mean, oh, the... Well, that, that, that uh, particular animated episode that you're talking about, well, it was at the end of uh, our second season. We did... We have two seasons now of about 14 or 15 episodes, and uh, everybody was really busy, so we had to animate everybody. We couldn't actually get anybody in the episode, and it turned out being really funny. We've actually, we've got a clip of it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, let's take a look at this clip. Whoa, I'm a cartoon? Yeah, I forgot to tell you, we're animated for this Cobra Cam. Seriously? Yep. Wow, so I can do all sorts of crazy cartoon Well, yeah, but don't go too crazy, and try not to curse. that, I'm hungry. I want a sandwich arm. I just, I, I had to show that. I had to show that. Yeah. That was really funny. And like right before that, though, it's very educational. You're like, dog, teaching people how to spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. yeah and also it's educational because if you're ever hungry, you can always take a bite out of your arm. <laughs> People this don't know is, that. People don't know that. But this is edible. It's actually a sandwich. Yes, it's actually a sandwich. And if you're vegetarian, it's a vegetarian sandwich. Yeah. Tofurky. So let's talk about, uh, I mean, tra <laughs> traveling. Yes. Oh, you guys put a jacket on? He's, he's, putting a, he's putting a jacket uh, on. No one saw that earlier. Um, Whoa. What about a, why not a brazier? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> why don't you just put a bra on? You'll be okay. What's jacket, the, jacket's kind of sweet, though. What's uh, the the t-shirt though, what's it, it what's it in commemoration? Oh, zip it up, of? Listen, all I know is that Nate had the breast intentions when he came in here. He didn't mean to wear He didn't mean to offend anybody. Best intent. What did I did I Yes, yeah, best yeah, intentions. Yes, that's what he said. It's your New so York said. accent. Yeah, 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 that's right. But uh, isn't that in commemoration of uh, your celebrate your three day long festival? It is my birthday. Yeah. yeah. Give it up for Nate! Yes. It's actually technically today is Nate and Spencer well, Day. Yes. yes. Today, today is the second day of a three-day festival. Yeah, three-day festival. What Tomorrow's his actually uh, his actual birthday. Yesterday was Spencer's birthday, and they're best buds. So Today's the day the... in between is the shared day on which we recognize how sweet they both are. They both are. And Yo, yeah. I'm really bummed that you found that shirt for yourself because that would have been the best gift to give you, man. That really would have been the best gift ever. <laughs> Do you yes. guys have like a parade for this three-day festival to celebrate your birthdays, or? We didn't have the uh, funding for that. The economy's down. Fair so. enough. Yeah, the Fair Canadian enough. dollar is killing us right now. We couldn't do it. It's it's quite strong. But you were you were touring overseas, and I understand you went to a lot of new places that you'd never been to. We did. We went to Indonesia. We went to the Philippines, and we went. To, we spent a little more time in New Zealand than we had before. It was amazing. What was that like playing in some of these cities that you've never been to before? Did, was anything lost in translation? Because you guys are hilarious. But Absolutely. did they? Absolutely. <laughs> well, you know, actually, I feel like in Asia people really love us. I feel like the place that people just did not get our sense of humor was in Germany. Like yeah, Germany and they're Austria. So dry. They just did, they didn't get it. Well, um, I think sarcasm was made illegal like, like 80 or 90 yeah, years ago. Part of the treaty. It's part of the treaty after World War II. They weren't allowed to be sarcastic at all. Uh, ever. They definitely didn't oh, get us. But Australia got it. Oh, yeah, Australia, yeah. Australia, Australia gets, Australia us, gets better us better than, better than anybody. Because what? you can't offend an Australian person. Right. Dude. Like, you know, you can, you can say all kinds of smacks to an Australian dude, and they're just like, oh, that's cool. I'm great looking, and I surf. Don't worry about me. Yeah. Which must be amazing, though. You're celebrating pretty much summer all year long. You're 
s spending our winter, their summer, exactly. now you're here, you're touring. Yeah, the only tough part was in Europe in, in February because it was butt cold over there. Right? Yeah, it was cold and wet. But you're back, yeah, and totally. that's okay, it's warm here. We've got a Victoria via webcam for you. Victoria, what's your question for the guys? Oh, I hey thought you meant Victoria from our band. Um, <laughs> I was like... So I have to say, I absolutely love your band, and you guys are so amazing. But one thing my question is, is your music videos are so creative. So how do you come up with such creative ideas? How do you come up with such creative ideas? Um, actually, Ryland, before he was in uh, Cobra Starship, he went to theater school. So he's just, you know, a plethora of ideas. People don't know this. He actually, don't you have a Bachelor's of Arts or something? A BFA, yeah. A BFA, a Bachelor's of Fine Arts. How about that? Yeah, the How fine about bar. that? I mean, in interestingly enough, as funny as you guys are, you're very, you're educated. I mean, you, to, uh, to be honest. I'm not educated. I mean, Ryland is. I watch the History Channel you're sometimes. You're educated by the streets, maybe? Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Like, We like the History Channel. I know how to play CeeLo. You know. <laughs> We've got uh, Katie here in the audience for you. Hey, Travi, what's up, man? What is Travi doing out there? He wants an autograph. He, he wants, yes, one. yes, he does. Katie, what's your question for the boys? I was just wondering, what advice do you wish you had been given when you were my age? What did you say? Uh, what advice do you wish you had been given when you were my age? I'll tell you, the best advice I got when I was your age, I was this kid who used to go to shows and pretend like I had a zine or like a website or a blog so I could get to interview bands, but I would just interview them for my own benefit. Like, I would never put the interview up anywhere. And one time I got to interview this band uh, that I really liked when I was young called the Mr. T Experience. And um, he told me, he said, I was never a great guitar player, I was never a great singer, but I really love making music. And I realized that if you just bang it out, after a while you're gonna end up with something good. So keep at it. Keep at it. That's great advice. Hey, let's uh, let's take a walk to the window. All right. Let's check it out. It's a walk out. Yeah. Strut your stuff. <laughs> well, you're signing there. We've got uh, Sharon here with a Hi, question Sharon, for what's you. Up? You got a question? that you've influenced so many of your fans to become vegetarians? Oh, I mean, I think that's awesome. I, I think that Boy, anytime we get a old positive influence, it's a good thing because, um, especially because yeah. we make a lot of jokes and sometimes it's hard to find something serious in all the jokes we make. So it's cool you found something uh, that's positive with us. Shot my shirt. Shot my shirt? Shot my shirt. Don't shoot anybody, Ryland. Not, not, not on camera, at least. What's up, brother? Yeah. All right. Well, hey, wait, while they're still, you're signing autographs, don't forget their performance is coming up in just a minute. How excited are you guys for that? Cobra Starship. Of course, Much Music pre presents the Doritos V Awards hosted by our very own Boomer Phillips. We're honoring users who created some great viral videos. To see all the videos, head online to muchmusic.com right now to check out the award show. Hey, more coming up with them after this.